YouTube family, what's the deal, man? It's your boy Chris Big Clean Cliff of Cliff World TV, and y'all already know how I'm rocking, family. And today, man, I've been getting a lot of requests, family. Everybody want me to speak on Baby Drill. I think it's because I made a video saying that Atlanta hip hop's reign is over due to an influx of rappers snitching, so I think it may have came from that. But anyways, man, after looking into the request, I'm not even gonna lie, I'ma keep it all the way funky with your YouTube family. Baby Drill, bro, got a story on him now. This ain't one of the untold stories, this is me shedding light on Baby Drill. Now y'all already know what y'all can do now. Sit back, get your doobie. Okay, kick back like we finna watch a movie, man. It's where Chris Big Clean Cliff Dog of Cliff World TV. We finna get straight into it. Del Cuesto Wilson, or shall we call him by the name that we all know him by today? Baby Drill has the streets of Atlanta on fire. Hailing originally from the west side of Atlanta, Georgia, MLK to be exact. And today, we gonna take a look at why they call him the king of drill in Atlanta. Yeah, Baby Drill is just 22 years old. According to the independent Atlanta courtroom reporter, George Chidey, Baby Drill had already had a full life. Now, he was accused in a 2022 murder in violations of Georgia's controversial RICO law, which has recently come under very much scrutiny for its broad application in the case against Young Thug and YSL. Now, before we get to that, though, he told Revolt that he was actually sent to boot camp at the age of 15 after catching an armed robbery charge, amongst others. And he had pursued a welding certification at that time in Georgia Tech. However, music in the streets kept on calling, and apparently, he's proven receptive to both, allegedly. Now, encouraged by the fellow rappers and earlier on successes, in collaborating with established names like 21 Savage, G Herbo, and Young Nudie, Baby Drill has been pursuing rap with a greater drive than ever. Now, he's apparently signed or at least affiliated with PDE, the Paradise Entertainment, man, Young Nudie's label, and the accused gang for which he received those charges last year, but since then they've been dropped. His connection with Young Nudie is likely the source of his working with Lotto. During the Up Rocks photo shoot, she insisted that Nudie is currently her favorite rapper from her hometown. The duo has worked together multiple times in Baby Drill's short time in the business, including a second mixtape, Drill Season. Now, recently, Atlanta, Georgia's music scene has been known as one of the most cutthroat music scenes in the United States of America. Rap groups, cliques, and functions openly beef in the city, and it's been around ever since the beginning of mainstream exposure to the whole city. One of the craziest beefs that's going on right now, according to the internet's attention, it would be 4L versus PFK. The groups would have ties to some of the biggest rappers in the city and some of the biggest rappers in the world. 4L have been tied to 21 Savage and Young Nudie and one of Atlanta's biggest up-and-coming rappers, Baby Drill. While PFK having ties to Little Marlo, one of the closest friends of Little Baby that tragically lost his life in the now infamous shooting on the highway in downtown Atlanta. In Atlanta overnight and in the early morning hours as the city works to combat a spike in violent crime since the 4th of July weekend. Now first, police say someone shot and killed a man in a single vehicle wreck on the interstate. It happened on I-285 near the Benjamin E. Mays drive overpass and it was around 1130 Saturday night. Investigators believe the victim, Rudolph Johnson, was the intended target of that gunfire. Well, they're also working to determine the circumstances surrounding that shooting. Uh, there are several reports this afternoon that the victim was a well-known Atlanta rapper, Lil Marlowe. NBC News says that the Fulton County Medical Examiner confirmed the death. Several in the hip-hop community have taken to social media to offer their condolences, and police were still looking. We have to talk about one of the wildest beefs in hip-hop history, man. 4L versus P4K. Nah. Initially, I had no idea about the ongoing conflict going on in that city until some felt that Young Nudie briefly talked about it 
as a subject matter in an interview with Charlemagne the God. When Charlemagne was confusing 4PF with 4L. <laughs> I see you wear the 4L too. That's the that's little, little baby I'm a... No, we 4L. Y'all for What's little baby? They 4PL. 4 p.m. Yeah. I don't know the difference, man. Mm, it's oh, God. What's the, what is yeah. that, what's the, what's the difference? Mm. Shit, we the biggest. Big 4L. Big 4L. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I shouldn't ask no more questions. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is when Young Nudie would clarify that 4L was the biggest in the city and the biggest in the industry altogether, man. One would even say that 4 p.m would have the music scene at the time while 4L was actually running the streets. But I don't even think that's accurate because on the music side, even Young Nudie to this very day has 10 million monthly listeners on Spotify, man. And Lil Baby ain't got no artists that got 10 million monthly listeners on Spotify. They're nowhere near close to Nudie. And 21 Savage got 57 million monthly listeners on Spotify. Lil Baby got 31 million monthly listeners on Spotify, so honestly, you can't even say that 4PF was running the music more than 4L was because 4L still putting up numbers. Now, on July 12th, 2020, Lil Marlo, aka Rudolph Johnson, was gunned down in the Atlanta area on the 285 interstate. The police department issued a statement saying that he was killed and investigators believed that it was a targeted shooting. Officers responded to a single car wreck on Interstate 285 in Atlanta, Georgia at about 11.30 that Saturday night. And they found him and the driver later identified as Johnson dead inside of the vehicle. The police said that at that time, investigators believed that the victim was an intended target of the gunfire and they were working to determine the circumstances surrounding the shooting. They said that at the time, that this was the incident that would basically split the city apart and mark the true beef that basically made PFK public enemy number one when it came down to the city of Atlanta, Georgia. Now, there's many different theories on the internet that have implicated a number of different groups with the shooting of Marlo. As a matter of fact, let me get a little brief history on Marlo. Now, Marlo was allegedly a big time dope boy from the West Side. Yeah, the West Side. And before I get it confused, man, it's the West Side Bankhead. Now, Marlo was a big time dope boy from the West Side of Atlanta, Georgia, allegedly. Now, he already ran around with a mob of guys, but he would get his own guys together and they'd start a subset. PFK. Now, growing up in the streets of Atlanta, Georgia, he crossed paths with Lil Baby and they eventually formed a close bond. Marlo was, in fact, one of the first people that convinced Lil Baby to get up out of the streets and put his focus on making music. Now, Baby, being the guy that he was after being signed to Quality Control Music, Baby would convince QCP to sign Marlo in hopes that he too can get up out of the streets. However, Marlo was too deep into the lifestyle and found it hard to just focus on music only. And it was another guy by the name of Rude that was also a menace to the streets of Atlanta too. He used to run off with packs, put bags on his enemy's head, and he consistently sent shots at his ops. Now, this was Marlo's homie now. Apparently, once upon a time in Atlanta, Georgia, before Marlo died, and it was a point in time where he was actually cool with the SG4L guys, and they used to be in the Ninth Ward together all the time, man. That PFK versus 4L slash SG is really some young nigga shit, just to be real now. It ain't got nothing to do with baby. And plus, 4PK still fuck with PFK to an extent. With Marlo dying, that's just what split up the city even more. Now, of course, the crazy theories would start to roll in. Now, one of them, Atlanta news reporter George Chitty, he actually basically said that Pharrell's artist slash 21 Savage and Young Nudie associate artist, Baby Drill, had something to do with the situation. Baby Drill was questioned after being arrested for a separate incident that involved the shooting and was basically questioned about the shooting as well. Part of the reason he was even questioned 
was a number of questionable lyrics that basically sort of pointed in that direction. You know, one lyric that they said was an issue was when he said that he caught his first one at 18 years old, which happens to be the same age that he was around the time when rising PFK artist Lil Marlo got hit up. He had also shout out P from Quality Control Music and basically said that he should have invested and bulletproof ties for his artists, man. Now, this would have people wondering if he was referring to the death of Lil Marlo. Like, is you crazy? Why is you going on track saying all of this? This is 2024, and this is how these young dudes move. But anyways, let's continue the story. Now, like I said, Marlo would say that QCP should have got this man a bulletproof car. Now, there was many speculation as to was Baby Drea speaking about Marlo, and this is something that we'll never know because it's all hearsay. This is all he say, she say, man. This can be left up to a different type of interpretation, so it can't really be implicated as evidence that he did such crime. So needless to say that the police definitely asked questions when he was arrested in 2022 concerning Marlo. This would be despite of no real evidence actually pointing toward his way at all on the case now. The police just felt like he might have known someone that had to do it, or he might have known somebody that did it, or he could have been involved himself. Talk about being guilty and to being proved innocent, man. This is America. Now, at the end of the day, Marlo is still an unsolved case, but it definitely had people scratching their heads when during that time, the discussion started on the internet two days after Marlo's demise that Baby Drill or Foel actually had involvement with this. But this is all hearsay, man. I ain't here to be solving murder crimes, just to let y'all know. Now, of recently, Baby Drill had some body cam footage that got leaked. I'm gonna go ahead and play that in this video, man. The, this allegedly is, well, why would I say allegedly when it's factual on camera? This is a video when he was actually arrested as a homicide suspect for a homicide in 2022. So we're gonna go ahead and play that video, man. We're gonna come back and we're gonna talk a little bit more before we go. What's up? Lamar. Lamar. All right, turn around. Lamar. Turn around. Hey, why you taking him for? You ain't going to say nothing? I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, hold up. Come on. Come on. No, come on. Come on. No, no, no. You're not touching nothing on him. You're not touching nothing on him. I'll be back with you in a minute. Hold up. What are you getting locked up for? I'll tell you in a minute. Where's his phone then? Give me his phone. He's not getting the phone. Nope. You got his phone on me. I don't care. You're not getting that. Hey. Let me get on my phone. Mm -hmm. My keys. Are negative. Gone. Negative. Why? I'll give you all that. Let me do my investigation. You need to back your ass up. What do? Back up. Saying? Let oh, me do my investigation, do investigation, and I'll be done. If he wants to give you shit, I'll let him give you all shit. Right, all right, go ahead. Okay. Sit down. Now, going well, y'all getting up in my face, so y'all need to back up. Sit down. Okay, you know what's going on now? Nah, they, they, this is, it's a warrant on me. A warrant on my wrist. I just heard him. Oh, yeah. there is a warrant. So, okay, y'all need to back up all this. What are you getting arrested for? We're talking about what are you getting arrested for? Without my lawyer. He's got a warrant for homicide. That's what. Hey, so, hey, you need to back up for me. Hey, get in. Hey, bro, they got get a in. warrant for homicide, bro. So, I'm trying to give you my key. What you uh, hanging up on. for? Are you hanging up on? I need to search your pockets, dude. Bro. Work with me. Hey, bro, I don't have nothing on me. No drugs. Hey. hey. What the fuck you doing? I got to search you. All right. Nigga, you tripping, right? He ain't got nothing on, bro. For real, Shawty? It, it don't here. matter. It don't matter. We got to get these keys out anyway. Yo, they ain't going to you. Hey. Hey, bro, don't touch me. I'm That's not... what you don't do. I don't care about no law. I know what I'm talking about, nigga. All right. Well, come on. Yeah. Dude, you're in custody now. Okay. Let me be in custody. My vehicle's parked. Okay. I was That's outside fine. my I'll vehicle. You didn't arrest me in my vehicle. That's okay. I'll give my him the My vehicle don't have That's nothing fine. to do with nothing. That's the main reason for the stop. That wasn't the main reason for this stop. That is. No, it wasn't. He Reckless was driving. driving. Does not matter. Man, That's man, why man, I stopped. Man, you better go try somebody oh, else. Man, not me. Come on, man. Where you at? It's out. No, you did just hand it over. You don't have to count they anything. Count it. You, you are already doing, doing shit illegal. What is you no, talking I'm not. about? You here now. Come no, on, man. That's not real, bro. You have them, have them back up. Have them back up. I've already asked them 15 fucking times. You, Bro, you talking to somebody that know what's going on, bro. That's what you felt to realize. Get the money out my backpack. Got some more money in my backpack. Where are you talking about the money? Checking out the right, What are you doing? Where's your where's the money in your backpack? In that in this one. Got it going. This one right here. Yeah. Shoot. Sure. Hey, 
Oh, you got any other things on you? No more money. I don't remember. I don't know if it's my other pack. I'm four pack four, like maybe. How much is that, dude? Oh, my pack was like. Does it, why he need to know? He need to know. You're talking about he need to tell him. You can tell me what it is and I'll put it in the report, but. Oh, okay, it's like, probably like. 7,500. 7,500. Who you want it to go to? Because I need their ID too, because I got to put it in the report. Or you can keep it on your person. So he can get the car. I don't want no no type of problem, bro. I don't want no type of problem. Y'all say y'all got one for hundred thousand. Okay. So all I want you to do is get everything to the owner of that car. Everything goes. Now I speculated, the little baby still hangs out with guys that allegedly had Lamar Lowe took off the planet of the Earth. Now, this will basically be confirmed on that song that Gunner had when he first came home. He said, you still mess with them niggas that done got your brother whacked. He was talking about baby. He said he was in business with a rat, and he still mess with them niggas that got his brother whacked. So, I don't know. What I do know is Slaughter Gang, 4L. Man, they cut throat now. If y'all remember this video, I'm gonna put the video up there. It was a time, and this was after the death of Bear, AKA Bankroll Fresh. Long live Bankroll Fresh. Now, it was a video after the demise of Bankroll Fresh where Ninth Ward No Plug was on stage, right? He was performing. And 21 Savage walked up to Ninth Ward No Plug and said, Tell him you the nigga that killed Bankroll. Tell him you the nigga that killed Bankroll. I'm gonna play that video, bro. Just to let y'all know, these niggas is cutthroat. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. Baby Drill got some good songs. As a matter of fact, he just dropped a song with Lil Tyler, man. And uh, I think y'all might wanna go check that one out for real, bro. Cause, hey. He be snapping, man. So y'all make sure y'all go check out that song he got with Lil Tyler called Score God. The video just came out like a week ago. Bro, be snapping. It's crazy. I just got put on Baby Drill, and I didn't know that they was moving like this in Atlanta, Georgia, man. But uh, let's go ahead and continue the story. Now, it's also alleged. Now, allegedly, allegedly, remember, YouTube family, this is all allegedly. It's alleged that Hood Rich Pablo 1 was the one who got Marlo knocked off. I I don't know, which is confusing to me because I did see a video of Nudie and 21 Savage speaking on how they just got to wrap a chain and the nigga can't stop getting robbed. And that kind of matched up with the profile of a hood rich Pablo one. So all of my family in Atlanta, Georgia, this is what I need y'all to do, man. Jump in the comment section and give me clarity. Now, we're not solving murder cases, you hear me now. But jump in the comment section and give me clarity. Is there some truth to... Pablo One being the one that did it? Or is there some truth to Baby Drill being the one that's standing on business, you heard me? Y'all let me know. But honestly, YouTube family, I can say this with conviction. This is the era of rappers crashing out. And it seems like it's damn near a race to the end, man. These dudes have no remorse, no guilt while doing it. And it's alleged that Baby Drill is one of the main culprits. And the dudes around him are basically egging it on, man. But uh, on top of that, driving through PFK hoods with guns, looking for ops while making a music video, you know, that's already incriminating enough. Baby Drill basically started to throw diss songs in the direction of Marlo's guys. Now, I never known for Atlanta to act like this. So what's going on in the city of Atlanta, man? I need y'all to get it together. That's supposed to be the black mecca of black Hollywood and y'all out there acting like it's Los Angeles, California in 1983. Get it together. Now, oddly enough, Baby Drill will get one of the biggest cosigns that you can get in the music industry and he got that from Drake, of course. Now, Drake said that he uses Baby Drill's music as a therapeutic means to release. He actually listens to Baby Drill while he meditates. That's kind of crazy to me. Now, I can see how Drake would co-sign Baby Drill because ain't Drake like the president of Slaughter Gang or something like that? On the low low, on the hush hush, ain't he like the president of Slaughter Gang? Y'all see Drake and 21 Savage together a whole lot. 
I think he did say Slaughter Gang CEO. Yeah, I think Drake Slaughter Gang CEO too. Nah, we all know that Baby Drill got his name from drilling shit, man. There is no mystery in that history. As a matter of fact, he go on a Big Facts podcast with Big Bang DTE and explain, well, actually he didn't. He just kind of laughed about why he got the name Baby Drill, but we all know why he got that name. Name Baby Drill come from? Shit. I was going by Christopher Well at first. Mm. Where did Christo come from? No, my name. That was my nickname. People call me in school and shit. Just outside and everything. So they just came up out the blue and started calling you Christo? No, this is a shorter version of my name. Okay. He said Baby Drill. Yeah. Baby oh, Drill. This shit came from... <laughs> yeah, oh, man. yeah, man. It just came back. It just came back. Man. You know, I was fucking nigga hoes and shit. <laughs> yeah, that's how it came for real, for real. Okay. Now, as the legs, the PFK and 4L started beefing because no plug sold Lil Harold some hit tussin nicks. I don't know how much validity is to that. What they say? No plug. The guy that actually uh, tragically smoked bankroll fresh. Is from the ninth ward of Atlanta, and that he is actually a neutral person, so he cool with both PFK and Foel, which I mean that's ingredient for backdoing right there. Nevertheless, they've been saying them Foel boys, Baby Drill to be exact, he been putting belt to ass, man, ever since you know he been on the scene. So I don't know. The only advice I got for you Atlanta niggas is y'all know that uh, what's her name, Fanny Willis. Y'all know she not playing, bro. Y'all see what she doing to Thug. Y'all seen what she did to Lucci, even though Lucci kind of got off easy, man. Y'all niggas better chill out in Atlanta, bro. Go back to leaning and snapping, baby drill. Go back to leaning and snapping, bro. Anyway, man, you two fans, it's your boy Chris McLean, Cliff of Cliff World TV, man. I just had to touch on a little baby drill. I see a lot of people saying, man, speak on baby drill, speak on baby drill. Gotcha. I just heard about the man, man. So y'all make sure y'all go check out baby drill music. You know, go give them some strings. Y'all might want to look into more of this. There's more videos that explain the beef between PFK and 4L and Slaughter Gang all over YouTube. If y'all want to go look at those videos, y'all go ahead and feel free to do that. I just really didn't feel like breaking down all the beefs in this video. But anyway, YouTube fans, we're Chris McClain, Cliff of Cliff World TV, man. Y'all already know I'm rocking like cut off stockings. I'm gone. YouTube family. I'm going to need y'all to tap in with my girl here by Honey Man. She a CEO, loctician, beautician, all-around miracle worker out of Spokane, Washington. But if that bag is right, she will fly to you. Now, I'm telling y'all, I have seen her turn some solid tools into dimes. Some solid tools into dimes. Some weight at the back of the line, so you ain't got to wait in line. Said, man, if you need your retwist, if you need your edges laid, if you don't want to go outside looking play, man, because I'm telling y'all, some of y'all, I seen y'all out there last weekend, and you was looking a little crushed. And she do kids here, too. And I seen some of y'all kids' pictures, man. And, hey, man, on picture day, that hair was nappy. So if y'all didn't have nobody to do it, I'm telling y'all, I'm putting y'all down right now. Hair by honey. Get your booking done right now. You can't let your appearance be the interference. Don't let your appearance be the interference, I'm telling you. Don't try to lay your edges yourself. It ain't going to work. Hair by Honey. She is a professional. She does this for a living. Get your book it right now. It might be a line, but for the right dime, you might be able to jump the line. YouTube family. I'm going to need y'all to tap in with my boy Mimosa, man. And my been with Mimosa in his podcast. Look. If you're in the greater Northwest area and you're trying to get exposure, man, and you know you deserve that spotlight and your music really hidden, Mobby with Mimosa is the place to go. I'm telling y'all, man, he running the multimedia blog site and he'll pull up for the interview. He's been seen on camera with Big Sad 1900 collaborator Lil Booth out in Tacoma. And that interview went yay yay. He did an interview with XD Stacks. FTFKT, and man, he even got me and BBDL on the interview, man. Listen, if you in the greater Northwest area and you want some exposure, I'm telling you, Vancouver, Tequila, Tacoma, Seattle, Kennewick, Royal Orange, Renton, Belltown, tap in with Mobby with Mimosa, man. He on the rise. I'm letting y'all know, man. He one of my guys. I'm putting a stamp on it. Look out for Mobby with Mimosa podcast and make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Listen, make sure Y'all subscribe to the channel. 
Don't inbox me any more links. If you in the greater Northwest area and you rap and you make music, I don't want to see no more links. Don't inbox me any more links. I need to see you on Mobbing with Mimosas podcast. Then I'll pay attention. YouTube family, I'm going to need y'all to check out my boy Ari Young, man, coming out of California. He a streamer, he's a YouTuber, and he's an artist. Let's just say he's more talented. I mean, hey, the boy could be the next Constantinette. Twitch, holler at my boy, send him a bag. To everybody that be on Twitch, even Discord. Man, y'all need to holler at my boy Ari Young, man. This the wave of the future. Live streamers are creating a new millionaires, and I got faith in my boy Ari Young. I mean, he was smart enough to get the promo. Y'all make sure y'all tap into his show, Stay Cloudy. Subscribe to him on Twitch, Area. Man, look, he gaming, he doing music, he live streaming, blunt rolling contest, Mario Kart, you name it. Like I told y'all, this the wave of the future, man. Now let's jump into the video y'all been waiting for. Man, look, hey. Yeah. I'm pippin' like I'm done one I'ma stop at the store, sell me a onion Go and get some backwoods in the back of Funyun Let a nigga play me sweetie, he gon' meet the honey bun I ain't ride with it unless he got a honey round drum Hit that nigga with the drink, he gon' butt up out I'm bomb Hit her with the daddy stroke, I got the little baby sprung Gotta keep that thing on you coming from where I'm from Gotta keep that thing on you when you coming from the bird I be juggin' and finessing, got that boy and got that girl She been moving up the ladder, cause the pippin' in the world They be shootin' round here daily, why the fuck you actin' scared? Hey, y'all got a scope, it'll knock down the bear Got a new BBL, make a nigga stop and stare Send it packs in the mail, use the next day air. I send it a bitch too, I put it in the air. Yeah. Feeling like rich, homie, I'm the man of the year. Walked in with two cups, I'm the man of the year. I ain't playing with these niggas, giving stress to my bitch. I be pimping on my hoes, I'm the man of the year. I'm feeling like equal dollar, I'm the man of the year. We gon' get the penny clear, I'm the man of the year. I'm the man of the year, I'm the man of the year, I'm the man of the, year. I'm the, man of the, year. I'm the man of the